Hello, hello, hello. We're going to start hello, in one minute. Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We're going to start in one minute because we only have five people, right? So we can have more. Let's get ready. Now that we have two more people, let me ask you, uh, have you had any problems with the platform? ¿Ya van completando los ejercicios de esta semana en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. ¿Algo inconveniente? ¿Algo que quisieran comentar? Mm. ¿No? No. ¿Todo bien? Okay, very good. So let's start then. Ya los esperamos dos minutos. Y no viene. So we're gonna go. Just give me one moment. Vamos a ver acá. Give me a moment. Estamos en la segunda semana, chicos. Let me go ahead and share my screen right now. All right, so we continue with unit number two. This is the National English for Work Program. Right, and this is the beginner level two. Right, we need, we're going to practice unit two today. And we have four competencies that we need to practice. Carmen, read number one. Emerson, number two. Right, number three, Alexis, and number four, Pedrina. Okay. <clears throat> Express how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Nice. Emerson, number two. Provide. Provide instruction for action or activities in simple commands. In simple commands. Very well. And number four, Alexis. Uh, express obligation or new activity. The workplace. Or needs at the workplace. Very good. Needs, necessities, needs at the workplace. And the last one, Pedrina, organize. Oh, yes. Organize activities by date of events. Very good. Organize activities by date of event. Very good, Pedrina. Very good. Now, Remember, ongoing activities. We're going to see right now in video conference number seven is how to use imperatives 
Yesterday we practiced with, what was the topic that we did yesterday? Let me see, who remembers the topic? We were, we are, we were talking about the advert of frequency and how often an example and try to repeat and practice. Okay, yeah. we very good. We practice about adverse of frequency, right? And we practice the question, how often? The frequency adverse and how often? But right now, I want you to tell me very quick, very, very quick. One example using the adverb of frequency, Ana Gabriela, tell me one sentence or one activity that you do in your workplace or at home using always. Um, how oh. often? No, just the sentence. I always, I don't know. for example, I always take a shower. Okay. Um, I always ah. write report on Friday. Okay, I always write reports on Fridays. Excellent job. Tell me, Carmen, one with some time. Okay, I sometimes answer the phone. I sometimes answer the phone. Very good. Asalia, give me an example using never. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I always... No, never. Never. Um, right now, I need never. you to give me an example with never. Ahorita yo les estoy diciendo cuál frequency adverb quiero que utilicen. Y yo quiero que usted utilice never. I never write and report at Friday. Okay, very good. I never write reports on Friday. On Friday. Cambio, on Friday. On Friday. Very good. Jennifer Abidail, give me an example using occasionally. <laughs> okay. Um, I occasionally. Um, I occasionally. Occasionally, you know. Get <laughs> mm. Que cae todo lo hago seguido. <laughs> yeah. Pedrina, get ready with never. Okay. Never. Eh. Alexis, get ready with sometimes. Sometime. Carmen, no, Carmen, no. Emerson, get ready with always. Okay, so Abigail, ready? Um, I occasionally, I occasionally work up at say o'clock. Stay up, okay, stay up, 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 like the movie. Stay, stay, uh, up. stay, stay up, say o'clock, seven o'clock. Okay, you stay up seven o'clock. I occasionally. Okay, está despierta. I occasionally stay up late, for example, or stay up after 11 p.m. Okay, good. Pedrina, your example. Never. Okay. I never uh, check out a correspondence. I never. I never. I never. Check correspondent. Check and correspondent. 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 Good. Emerson? I always listen to rock music. Nice. Okay. I always listen to rock music. I sometimes listen to rock music. Good. Alexis? Teacher, sometimes, ¿verdad? Sometimes, yes. 
sometimes uh, I sometimes drink Coca-Cola at work. Okay, very good. I sometimes, but repeat, sometimes. Sometimes. No, look at me. Sometimes. Some, sometimes. Times. Times. No, no es time. Fíjense la diferencia de decir times y time. Times. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ajá, very good. There we yes, are. Yes. Very good. Now, let me see here. Juan Josué, give me an example using rarely. Rarely. Yes, sir. Rarely. I rarely arrive late at my work. Okay, I rarely arrive late at my work. Very responsible, Jose. very responsible. Thank you. And let's see here, the last person for this activity is going to be my friend, Maria Concepcion. Tell me a sentence, Maria Concepcion. Using often. Often is almost as occasionally. Um. For example, I often eat pupusas. I often eat pupusas during the week. <laughs> Give me your example. Okay. I often um, draw uh, pictures. I often draw pictures. Draw. Repeat. Draw. Okay. draw. Very well. Very well. Now, besides that, we're going to continue here with our next practice. We have four questions that we're going to ask. Please take a screenshot of the questions. Take a screenshot of the questions, or copy las preguntas, o le tomen una captura de pantalla, whatever you want. These are the questions that we're going to practice. Pedrina, read the first question. Question number one. Eh, mm, mm, eh, que las lea o que haga la pregunta. No, teacher. read. Read the question number one. What, how often do you write Greek memos? How often do you write memos? You write memos. Okay, very good. Let's continue and read the next question, please, uh, Emerson. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Very good. Angie, next question. How often do you drink coffee at work? Okay, good. And please, Ana Gabriela, the last one. How often do you contact your clients? How often do you contact your clients? Very good. Those are going to be the questions that we're going to ask here, okay? Vamos a trabajarlas en equipo. We're going to only speak in groups, okay? But first, let me call the attendance. Primero vamos a pasar asistencia. ¿Ya las copiaron? Did you copy the questions? Yes? Yes. Very well then. Let me call the attendance before we start working in groups. Let me see here. Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayoa. Presente. Very good. Angela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Asalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Carmen Lisset Hernández Escobar. Present. Eh, Silvia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Ok. Eh, Present let's... teacher. Thank you. Daniela Mirta Sandoval Avilés.
Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Bareña Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Abidail López Scott. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Hey, your microphone works. Very good. Now, we're going to work in groups. We're going to practice the questions. In these groups, you are going to be together only for three minutes. Okay? Van a estar juntos por tres minutos. Así como hice ayer, I am going to switch. Okay? I am going to switch. For example, let's suppose that Carmen, Maria, and Celia are together. After three minutes, I am going to switch them to another group, okay? So they can share the answers with other people and you can practice more. Is that clear what we're going to do? Yes? Okay, no se asustan si se cambian después de los tres minutos automáticamente. So let's go ahead and start working right now with groups of three. Give me a moment. We're going to be together only three minutes. Okay. At, at when the time is up, you're going to be changed. Okay, let's go. Please choose your group. Choose your group there, over there, please. Choose your group over there. Choose your group, select your group. Very good. Excellent. Alexis, Angie, select your group. Angela? Okay. Dale. Okay, I am listening. Okay. Um, es la, eh, las preguntas y, y, y tenemos que responderlas, ¿verdad, Tiche? Yes. Correct. Con su información. Okay. okay, bueno, si quieren. I am listening to you. If you have questions, let me know. Yo quiero escuchar lo que como hablamos. Okay. Um, Juan José, how, how often do you write memos? I... Normally, write memos. I normally write memos, okay. Very good. Okay. Anna, how often do you check your email? I always check my email. I always check. Okay. Abidail, how often do you drink coffee at work? Uh, I occasionally drink coffee at work. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, yes. Hoy, haga usted la última pregunta, cualquiera de nosotros dos, a ver ahí. Ok. Eh, Juan José. Okay. How, how often do you control your clients? I... 
always contact my clients. Okay. Gabriela, you're going to another room. Okay, teacher. Hello. 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 <laughs> How often do you uh, write memo? A quién de las dos? A la que guste responder. Está aquí. <laughs> okay. Eh, ¿Quiere ver? I always. Eh, I always write memos. Ahora, ahora the question. Okay. <laughs> How often do you last say your email? Eh, um, I always check uh, your um, email. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Hello, and you work? Uh, sí, creo que estoy teniendo problemas de internet. Hasta ahora hay bastante. Teacher, I le dije que cambie de internet. Okay. Yes. In my case, I told, told to Angie that I. Sí, teacher, no he tenido que ir a ti. Permítame, Angie, permítame, permítame. ¿Cómo dice? In my case, when she asked me to, if, how, how often do I contact my clients? I answered her about my, my internal user, user because I don't have clients. Clients that in a commercial um, service because I have internal user. In this case, it's a similar. Yeah, if it's going to be yeah. similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be similar. If it's the people that you work with mm -hmm. to make your um, your uh, business running, mm -hmm. they are going to be your clients. They Do they ask you for something? Do they buy you something? Yeah, yeah. They use my services. So okay. I they, they are your clients. Customer service, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Lisa, you're alone, so I'm going to move you to another group, okay? Have you okay. worked with an, oh, this group. I'm going to move here, Gabriel, okay? Uh -huh. So you can talk to Gabriel. I will see you in a moment. Okay. Hello, Ricardo. Hello. Good evening. No, no gusta. Never. No, never. Oh. never. How often do you write memos? How often do you check your email? How often do you drink coffee at work? How often do you contact your clients? Okay. Did you answer all the questions already? Uh, yes. Yes. Did you ask each other? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So let us go then. Let us go, everyone. Let's go to the main room. Vámonos, Leila. Okay, so let me ask you right now, and I'm going to ask you directly the questions, okay? How often do you write memos, Juan Josué? Okay, I... Usually write memos. I usually write the memos, very good. How often do you write memos, Concepcion?
Concepción. I often write memos. I often write memos. Very good. Pedrina, how often do you write memos? Pedrina? How often do you write memos? I usually write memos. I? I usually write memos. Okay, repeat with me, usually. Usually. I usually write memos. Okay, very I good. I usually write memos. Okay, very good. Now let's go with the second question. How often do you check your email, Ricardo Gabriel? I check my email always. I always check my email. <laughs> I always check my email. Very good. Let's see, Emerson, how often do you check your email? I usually check your check my email. Yes, your email because mine no. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, Carmen, how often do you check your email, Carmen? I always, I always check my email every day. Okay, I always check my email. Me too. Right. How often do you drink coffee at work, Asalia? I normally drink coffee at work. Okay, I normally drink coffee at work. Very well, very well. Gabriela, how often do you drink coffee at work? I occasionally drink coffee at work. I occasionally, okay, very good. And Abidayin, question number four. How often do you contact your clients? Um, I, I always, I always, Contact your clients. My clients or your clients? Client. My clients or your clients, I believe. My clients, look at me. My, my clients or your clients? I, how often do you contact client. your clients? I always. I always contact your client. Vale, mañana le paso la lista de los clientes que tengo. Okay. <laughs> remember, yeah. remember the use of object pronouns. Okay, remember the use of object pronouns. I is my, right? You, your, right? We, our, right? We start classes at 8 p.m. Our class starts at 8 p.m., right? So what's the answer? How often do you contact your clients? Every day. I always contact your, uh, I always contact my clients. Very good. I always contact my clients, very well. How often do you contact your clients, Alexis? I never uh, contact my clients. I never contact my clients. Good. I never contact my clients. Now, we go ahead and continue here with the next activity. This activity is on your book on page 22. Please access your book. Access your book. Open your book. Open your book to page 22, we have a very small conversation between Marcia and Luke, okay, Marcia and Luke. So let's practice here. Please pay attention to the pronunciation because you are going to practice as well the pronunciation, right? We go with Marcia and Luke. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? 
actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memos and stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Okay, one more time. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. Now, this is a conversation that we have between the boss, Marsha is the boss, and Luke is the assistant, okay? Marsha is the boss and Luke is the assistant. I would like to listen to Ricardo and Carmen. Ricardo, you look. Marsha, you, uh, no, Carmen, you are Marsha. <laughs> Me confunde, teacher. Me confunde. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one to so, give me one of two memos sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. Repeat, absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Now, Carmen, choose one person. Gabriel, choose another person. Dun, 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 dun. Asalia. Okay, Asalia. And Asalia, you're going to be Marsha and Ricardo? Luis. 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 Okay, Luis, you're going to be, look. Okay, Asalia and Luis. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, that's Asalia. Usted look. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay, please send this package. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Man, do you need anything else? Actuality. Actually. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right. I want you my one of 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 those 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 memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please so supervise the new interns. Actually. Absolutely. 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 Very good. Now, please look at me and listen. Okay. We're going to practice these words. I'm going to put them here in color. Oh, that you cannot see that color. Okay. Sí, sí. Ma'am. 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 Now put it together. Ma'am. Ma'am. Very good. Now we're going to also work with actually. 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 Very good. Actually. 
That we work with right away. Right away. Right away. Right away in Spanish will mean ahorita mismo se lo hago. Right away. Right away. Right? En Salvador es así. Ya. Right? <laughs> Utualito. Now, Utualito se lo hago. Okay? Right away. Then we go with sure. 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 Here you go. Here, Here you go. go. Here you go. Absolutely. 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 Now, this question is very important. Do you need anything else? 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 Very good. And package. 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 Pa Package. Pack. Package. 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 Very good. Package. Package. Now, let's repeat the difficult words here. Please pay attention and I want to see you practicing with me, okay? Yo ya me las puedo. Necesito que ustedes me ayuden a practicar. Okay? Now, please repeat with me. Package. 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 Ma'am. 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 Ma Very good. Ma Do you need anything else? Do you need anything else? Do you need anything else? Very good. Do you need anything else? Actually. 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 Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Sure. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. Eso en vez de decir solamente yes. Yes. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can I do this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Respondo ahorita. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's another way of saying yes. Es otra forma de decir sí. Hágalo. Right? Now, one thing that you need to know. This is a conversation between a woman and a man. But let's suppose that it's the other way around. Right? Ma'am significa dama o señora. Sí, señora. Right? In Spanish we say, or in Colombia, many people say, sí, señora. Right? Sí, señora. So it's going to be the same here. But for men, right, this is ma'am is for women, right? And sir is sir. for men. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Sir, repeat with me. Sir. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. In the military, people say yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Right. Así que si van para Estados Unidos y quieren ser militares, así van a decir. Sir, yes, sir. Right. Sir, yes, sir. Now. So, Do we understand the use of ma'am and sir? Absolutely. Excellent, yeah. Carmen. Yes, <laughs> very good. Very good, Carmen. Now, we're going to practice. I would like to listen to two more people. Josue, can you help me? Josue, are you there? Angie, yes, aquí, Angie. Estoy intentando en mi computer y ahorita estoy en el celular. Si sí la veo, si sí veo. Se oye mucho mejor, Angie. Okay, okay, so we have Josué and Josué and Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, you are Marsha. Josué, you look. Josué, we cannot hear you. Okay. Now, yes. 
Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. You are Marcia Gabriela. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Gabriela, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Excellent job, Josue. Excellent job, Gabriela. <laughs> Very good. Okay, nine, nine. Ustedes piensan que chiste, ya ve, lo van a entender los gringos, ya van a ver. Okay, good. Now we're going to continue with the next activity. Okay. Now one more thing before we continue. Algo más antes que continuemos. Esta palabrita aquí, actually, no significa actualmente. Ese es un error que cometemos todos, 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 todos al inicio. Actually. No significa actualmente, significa de hecho. ¿Ok? De hecho. Actually, yes. De hecho, sí. ¿Vale? ¿Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. ¿Necesita algo más? De hecho, sí, necesito algo más. Actually, significa de hecho. ¿Ok? O, por cierto, sí, necesito algo más. ¿Vale? Actually. Entonces, no vayamos a confundir actually con actualmente, porque es un calco, sería un calco del español al inglés, ¿ok? Y no queremos cometer ese error. Now, let me go ahead and continue. ¿Se entendió el, la explicación de actually? Chef. Yes. Eh, yo tenía esa duda con actually, porque uh -huh. yo, a mí me habían explicado que era la verdad. No sé uh -huh. si está errado ahí. Sí, está mal. Ah, pues permítame, lo voy a borrar. Me dijo que era. De hecho. De hecho, por cierto. Ok. Now, we're going to continue here. Here, I want you to look at something. And this is a new, a new grammar topic that we're going to see. Right. Don't forget to turn on your cameras, Maria and Emerson. Right. We're going to work with a new topic, and this new topic is commands. Commands. We're going to use commands to tell someone to do something. Okay. Do you know? And I want you to look at me right now because if, if it's a new topic, do you know the or do you remember? Do you remember that game that we used to play when we were kids? Simon Says. Do you know Simon Says? Simon Dice? Do you know Simon Says? Yes. yes. Okay. Simon Says is a game that we can that we can use for commands. Okay. When we say, for example, Simon Says, touch your head. Right? We touch your head. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your nose. Is this your nose? Okay, very good, Gabriel, very good. Very good, Gabriel, very good, Josue. This is your nose. This is your forehead, right? Es la frente, right? So when we are giving instructions with Simon says, we're giving commands. Okay, commands are things that you're telling, do this, do that. Like Marsha, right? Marsha told Luke, supervise the intern, okay? Or sometimes teachers tell you, pay attention. Okay, Concepcion, pay attention, right? That's a command. Son cosas o opciones que le decimos que hagan o que alguien le está diciendo como una indicación 
una instrucción o una orden. orden. Right? It can be the three of them. Right? Usually the word orden en el 2021 ya no se usa. ¿verdad? Es como, ah, una indicación, una instrucción, una guía. Right? But in English, we call them commands. Right? So, we're going to look at the commands that we have in the conversation. In our conversation, we have these commands. Please, for example, please write a check. Send a memo. Check the report. Supervise the employees. And go to meetings. Okay? And I want you to pay attention to this because we are going to use the word please. This please is option. This is optional. This is an option. Your boss can tell you, Asalia, write a check right now. Okay. Why are we going to use please? Because we want to sound more polite. To sound, oops, oh, sorry. To sound polite. That's when we're going to use please. Right? We're going to use please to sound polite. Right? That's when we use please to sound polite. And we're going to use please send a memo. Please check the report. Please go to a meeting. Please open your book. Please read the conversation. Teacher, and always please use before the, the command. No, no. Good question. Offer. Good question. No, it's not always, it's not always at the beginning. We can also put please at the end, right? But when we put please at the end, and we're gonna make another line here. Uh, we're going to make another line here, okay? When we put please here at the end, the only difference is that we're going to put a comma, okay? We're going to put comma, please, right? Write a check, please. Send a memo. Please check the report, please. Supervise the employees, please, right? The only difference here is that at the beginning, we don't have a comma, ni esos tres puntitos tampoco van, right? Just please write a check. Si lo ponemos al final, write a check, comma, please. Right? That should be there, right? So we can put it at the beginning or at the end. Is that part clear? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes? Do you have any questions right now? Entonces, lo que... O sea, que puede... I listen to two people. Um, Angie, what do you say? Podría ir al principio o al final. Yes. O sea, que podría ir al principio o al final. Yes. Y ambas son correctas. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Angie. You're welcome. What's your question, Ricardo? Era que se que la misma que dijo Angie. So, yes. Eh, la única diferencia va a ser que si digamos, primero decimos el comando y después ponemos please, siempre vamos a agregar una coma. Yes. Ok. Always, always. But when we use at the beginning, you don't have a comma. So at the beginning, it will look like this. Please write the check. And if you have it at the end, write the check, please. The meaning is the same, okay? Both of them are polite. Yes? yes? Eh, la segunda eh, cuestión tendría que ser se escucha más 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 educado por decirlo así verdad oh, both of them are polite both are polite 
Las dos son polite. Polite significa educado. Both of them are polite. Pero, pero ¿verdad que la primera se escucha como un poquito más pesado? No, de hecho no. Porque la, por eso estamos utilizando la palabra please. Mm. Estamos utilizando la palabra please to sound polite. Ah, ok. Porque yeah. un, un jefe le va a decir supervise the employees, please. No, solamente supervise the employees. Go to the meeting. Write the report. Open your book. Right? Las dos podemos utilizar, no hay ningún problema. No, there's no problem. Yes, yes. Okay. Any other questions about this? Questions? No more questions? Okay, let's no, continue. No. Let's continue. Let's continue. Say, girl, teacher. Yes? Comment, 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 essay, please. No, this is the command. This is the command. Write a check, uh -huh. send a memo, check the report. Uh, okay. That's, that's what we're going to do right now, Asale. Okay? We're going to look right here to the imperative sentence or command. It tiene esos dos nombres y significa también lo mismo. Right? Imperative sentence and command are the same. Right? And it says there, imperative sentences are one of the four sentence types that we have in English. Okay? We have declaratives, interrogatives, imperatives, and exclamatives. Right. So imperative sentences give commands. For example, stop, don't go, right? So we have pretty much, this is composed by a verb, right? What do we have? A verb, stop, that's a command. Eat, that's a command. The simple hecho de mencionar un verbo Right? That is going to be a command. Right? Carmen, can you please read this paragraph? The typical form structure of an English imperative. Pardon, wait, I, I, I repeat again. The typical form structure of an English imperative sentence uses the base verb with no subject. In fact, many imperative sentences consist of nothing but the verb. Look at the example structure. Okay, very good. We have two example structures here. Thank you so much, Carmen. We have the first one is this one. Stop. That's a command. Solo el verbo. Stop. Okay. Then we have also another one. Please sit here. Please. Sit here, or I can say, please stop, stop please, right? So we have two formulas that we can con that we can follow, right? So pretty much in the formula, we have only, the main important thing is the verb, right? The verb, that's the main important thing, the verb, right? That is what we need in the command. I can say, for example, here, open your book. Right, so this other part is going to be the complement. Verb plus complement, open your book. What else can be another command? For example, Stand listen up. to what? Stand up. Stand up. Okay, very good. Stand up. Okay, very good. Listen to the conversation. I'm going to move them right here. Another one. Very good, Carmen. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Everyone's standing up. Sit down. Sit down. Right? Stand up. Sit down. Right? What could be another okay. another verb? Mm -hmm. Es como una orden. 
Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Es, yes. es como una hora. Es una hora. No es como. Es una hora. Mm -hmm. Ok. Remember. It, but right now we're not using order. Everybody. Hmm? Everybody también. No. No. Only the verb no. and the complement. The verb and the complement. Okay. El sujeto de esta, de esta, de esos comments, the subject of the hey. comment, the subjects of the comments is going to be you. You. Es como que diga, corre, salta, así. Um, I think in Spanish, pero en español no sé cómo se llama. I'm sorry. Okay. But it's going to be, it's going to be instructions that we give in English. For example, go ahead. Yo, Go ahead, exactly, go ahead, right? Sit over there, turn on over the there. TV, right? Turn on the TV, for example. Turn on the TV. Eat your breakfast. Eat. Eat your breakfast, right? Eat your breakfast. What could be another command? What could be another command? Okay. Not only Asalia, everyone. Not only Asalia and Carmen, solo Asalia and Carmen is participating. What about the other? <laughs> <laughs> What about the others? What could be another example for a command? I want to give a command, Gabriela. Tell me a command. Uh, yes. Copy, uh, copy class. Copy the class. Very good. Copy, copy the, the class. class. Copy the class. Okay. Copy the class. Good. Ricardo. Teacher estaba viendo en un video que decía zip it, como para que la gente se calle. Yes, ¿Eso puede ser un comando? Yes, but that is, a, you can use it usually with kids or in an informal setting. Okay, when you use zip it, right? Zip it, it comes from a zipper. Right? You know what, is, what is a zipper does? Un zipper? ¿Conoces un zipper? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, yes. very good. When you use this phrase, because, for example, if a teacher, if a teacher alguna vez le dice, zip it, that is very rude. It's a command, es un command, eso sí es cierto, es un command, pero es un command rude. It's not polite to say zip it to a person. Right? So usually you say it when you are angry. Zip it. It's like saying, for example, shut up. Shut up. Yes. Zip it. Sí, pero estas dos frases se utilizan, las dos significan lo mismo, right? But they are used in an informal way. They just shut up if más has a tablet que zip it. Okay? Usually we say that to, to our kids. Se lo puedo decir a mi hijo, a mi hija, a mi hermana, pero en una conversación súper informal y que usted tiene que tener confianza con aquella persona. Because it's like, zip it. Cállese, ya, cierra, cierra tu boca. Right? Cierra tu boca. Right? Okay. And the teachers tell you, be quiet. Right? Be quiet. Sería... Por favor, manténgase callado. Be quiet. No. Please. Yeah, you should. Please. I, I don't use please. please just shut up. Say, be quiet. Please, shut up. No, no puede decir eso. <laughs> <laughs> La van a echar. Please, shut up. No. Aunque diga please, shut up. No, no, no. Se lo sabe. Okay. You are going to use no. be quiet. Be quiet is the correct form in your work. You can use be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. Manténgase calmado. Manténgase callado. Okay. okay. Or remain silent. Take it easy. 
Uh, that's another thing. This is relaxing, right? Relaxing. Very good. So we put it here with the letter. Now, do we understand the form of imperatives? Yes. Entendemos la forma como se utiliza? Yes. Okay. Good. What about the others? You're welcome, Sally. You're welcome. What about the others? ¿Se entiende lo que estamos trabajando? Chicos, chicas. Josué, eh, Angie, Leida, Luis, Daniel. ¿Es it clear? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes Alexis. Eh, yes. En la primera, como dice, open your book. Uh -huh. Se puede hacer también lo contrario, close it. Your yes. book. Open your book, close your book. Yes. Yes, it is possible. Thank you. It is possible. Good question, Alexis. Okay, nobody else? No more questions? We're going to see something else about imperatives, okay? Vamos a ver algo más de los imperatives. ¿Copiaron los ejemplos para que tengamos vocabulario? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Let's continue. Let's see here. We actually, like we were saying here, the final punctuation is usually a full period, right? for the imperatives or an exclamation point, okay? For example, if we say here, write a report. Write a report. What is the difference here, Josue, in these two? Write a report, write a report. What is the difference? Look at them. Mm -hmm. Write a report. Write a report. La primera es como la acción. La Both of them are actions. Both are actions. No. Interrogación. Write a report. No, perdón, es. Ay, ya se va a dormir, ya se va a dormir, ya se va a dormir. Admiración. De admiración. De admiración. De admiración. Exclamative sentences. Exclamative. Exclamative. It's an exclamation point. Okay. In the first one, which you say, write a report. Write a report, Carmen. Carmen, write a report. You see? The intonation will change. Okay. La entonación va a, va a cambiar. ¿Cuándo va a utilizar una exclamación? Cuando es algo urgente, por ejemplo. O cuando alguien está totalmente, I don't know, your bosses. El, el jefe a veces está así como agobiado. Ahí dice, write a report. Write a report, Filia. Right? Write a report, María. Right? It will depend. Now, this is, look at this. This is a period. This is an exclamation mark or exclamation point. Ese de acá es un period y ese de acá es un exclamation mark. Okay? Now, we have examples here. Imperative sentences can be in positive or negative. Okay? They can be in positive or negative, right? And they can... Se me fue esa M. And they can refer to present or future. Okay, so what are we going to say here? If they can be positive or negative, look at this. Okay, call the supervisor. Positive, call the supervisor. Okay, let's see. Don't call the supervisor. Don't call the supervisor. Call the supervisor. Don't call the supervisor. Stop. Don't stop. Continue. Right? Call the clients. Don't call the clients today. 
Do you see the difference? Using don't at the beginning. And for negatives, we use don't, right? No vamos a utilizar doesn't para los in, in commands, para los imperatives. We don't use doesn't. We always use don't. 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 Exactly. So, we have here, uh, do we understand the positive and negative? Yes. Give me an example. No, pero tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Este, vaya. Aquí no vamos a ocupar das. Entonces, cuando queramos siempre decir un, un imperative, independientemente de a quién le estemos diciendo, sea she, he, siempre vamos a decir don't call, aunque estemos hablando con because you are always directing your command to someone, to someone. In second person, not in third okay. person. Okay. Usted siempre le está dando la indicación a alguien directamente. Como que generaliza. No. Usted le está dando la indicación a alguien directamente o alguien le está dando una indicación a usted directamente. Aquí no hay cabida para tercera persona. Por eso no utilizamos eh, doesn't. Por ejemplo, puede decir, Alexis, call the clients. I'm talking to Alexis directly. Entonces, ¿Cuál sería acá? Hay un, hay un algo en español que habla, que se llama sujeto tácito. Right? Do you, do you know sujeto tácito? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Let me show you here. If we have sujetos tácitos right here, we have, for example, the imperative is call the supervisor, right? This is the imperative. What is the verb in this imperative, Angie? Call. Call, very good. Call is the verb, very good. In English, since we say call the supervisor, Angie, call the supervisor. I am giving an order or an, instru an instruction to Andy. Estoy hablando con ella directamente. Entonces se puede decir que tenemos lo que en español dice mucho. Give me a moment. So we call sujeto tácito. It's going to be like saying, oops, you call the, you call the supervisor. You don't call the supervisor. You open the book. You listen to me. Okay? So it's going to be a, a direct instruction. Is that clear, Ricardo? La instrucción yes, yes. es directa. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. La instrucción es directa. No le puede estar... Eh, dando una instrucción a Ricardo para que le entienda Juan. No. It's direct to a person. Ok. Recuérdense que esto se usa porque en, en la cultura americana ellos siempre van a ser más directos. Ellos les van a decir, what's your name? My name is Silvia. Ok, Silvia. Send an email to Angie. Ok. I have to send an email. Son instrucciones directas y claras. Remember? The American culture says time is money. Okay. El tiempo es dinero. Entonces, por eso utilizamos este tipo de oración. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's continue. We have here the next part. Right? Which of, I have three questions for you. Which of these sentences is in an imperative form? You are going to do this individually. Just think about the three questions, okay? What are the answers for the three questions right now? Okay. Which of these sentences is in imperative form? Are you quiet? You, be quiet. You are quiet. The imperative form can give instructions, express surprise, make a statement. Imperative sentences and with an exclamation mark or point, 
a full stop or period or either. What are the answers? Ya pensaron en las respuestas? I am going to ask number one is going to be for Luis Armando. Number two is for Emerson. And number three is for Josue. Okay, this is Luis. This is Emerson. And this is Josue. Okay, ya todos tienen sus respuestas? Do you all have your answers? Hello, is someone there? Hola, escucha. Yes. Okay, what's the answer, Luis Armando, for number one? Okay, I didn't hear are you, you well. Quiet? You are quiet. What is the answer? Number one, two, or three? Oh, okay, Luis Armando. Let's see, Maria Concepcion. Maria. Yes, teacher. Maria. Okay, Maria. Tell me what do you think is the correct answer? What could be an imperative here? Mm -hmm. Is uh, are you quiet? Are you quiet? Is that an imperative? Um, is that a command? Vamos a hacer comodín del público. Pida un comodín, María. Eh, porque donde lleva el, el period no, no es imperativo, o sea. Quiet. Okay. Quiet. Quiet. Y ese ejemplo ahorita con lo que estaba diciendo eh, Ricardo de, de Stipit. Eh, y estaba final con el uso de you. En el sujeto tácito. Ajá, exacto. Podemos usar sujeto tácito. Very good. Ok, entonces sería you be quiet. Exactly, yay, very good. You be quiet, very well. That is the correct answer. Right, this is the correct one. You be quiet, very good. Excellent, María Concepción. Emerson, the imperative form can. Give instruction. Give instructions. Excellent job. Give instructions. That's the only function of the imperative form. Give instructions. Number three, Josue. Imperative sentences end with? A full stop. A full stop. Only a full stop? Good. Only that? Yes. Can I use an exclamation? Can I say, for example, like this? Stop. Full stop. Stop. Or can I say, stop? Are those examples correct? No, the second is correct. Oh, very interesting. 
both are correct. Both are correct. So we're going to put these, either. this one in either. Either no significa, se ve en la última. Either, either, ah, no se mira, perdón. Either means ambos. Lo que dice okay. ahí al final es, Josué, es esta palabra. Either. Either ambos. significa ambos. Right? Ambos o, cualquier, o los dos. Right? Questions about this? ¿Alguna pregunta? Antes que ustedes me hagan sus hermosos ejemplos. Risa le damos. Ok, no questions. No questions. Uy, where's my camera? No questions. No, no questions. No questions. Ok, so let's continue. We're going to make one example here, right? And look at what we're going to do. But first, let me take the attendance one more time. Okay, please put your cameras on. Para tomar la asistencia, por favor. Qué chivo, mire, ve, vamos a empezar súper rápido. Let's go ahead and see. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayor. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Azalea Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present. Silvia Jasmín Castro de Chávez. Present. Eh, Daniela Miguel Sandoval Avilés. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present. Present. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Mar Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Now, what we're going to do right now is the following. We're going to think about our boss, right? And we're going to do, it says here, write six things your, you think your boss will tell you to do tomorrow at work, okay? This, of course, you're going to use imperatives to write these six things, okay? We're going to do this right now. Right? We're going to do this individually. Individually, six things. For example, I think my boss is going to tell me, plan the classes for next week. That's, that's an, a command. Plan the classes for next week, Sylvia. Go to the Zoom meeting at 3 p.m. That's another thing that he's going to tell me. Open your YouTube playlist, right? That's another thing that he is going to tell me. Open your YouTube playlist, right? These are examples. These are my examples related to my work, to my work, okay? Upload the classes to Drive, to Google Drive. Verbos, plan, go, open, upload. So we upload the classes to try. These are instructions 
that my boss is going to tell me tomorrow to do. Is that clear what we're doing? ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? Is it clear? Hello? Hay yes, alguien yes. ahí? Aquí estamos. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Yes, okay. So is it clear what we're doing? Yes? Yes, it's okay. clear. Very good. Let's work individually right now then. Look at the examples, right? Of course, they, they are not the same for you because this is about my activities, right? So let's see, let's do it individually so we can share right now the things that you can do in your work. Let's do it. Vamos a tener 10 minutos. No, mucho, cinco. Ask me questions if you need to, for vocabulary, for anything. Eventas, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Sales call. Sales call. Sales, yes. Sales call. Sales call. Many people say telemarketing. Telemarketing, that will work too. Without the S, without the S. Telemarketing. Any other question? Beautiful people. I finish. Finish, very good. Who else finished? Fitness teacher. Very good. Who else finished? Hey, Master Mino. Who else finished?
Listo. Ready? Okay. Only Carmen, Alexis, and Ricardo. What about the others? Still working? Finished, teacher. Finished, teacher. Very good, Emerson. Teacher. Yes? Uh, personal assistant. Assisted, my boss is correct. Repeat again. Personal. Personal. Assisted, my boss. Personal. Uh, attended, uh, personal with my boss. What, what do you want to say? Atiendo uh, personalmente a mi jefe. I, yeah, I assist, assist my boss. I assist my boss. Mm -hmm. Boss, sorry. Pero eso sería lo que usted hace. Yo necesito que ustedes me digan qué creen ustedes que le van a decir sus jefes mañana. Yeah. Eso es lo que usted hace. I need you to tell me qué creen que le van a decir. Yo ahí les puse lo que me va a decir mi jefe mañana es Silvia, plan your classes. Silvia. Upload the documents into Drive. Sylvia, open the YouTube playlist. Right? That's what he's going to tell me. ¿Qué le van a decir sus jefes a ustedes? In commands, using commands, okay? Josué finished, Ricardo finished. Josué, is that what you have? Eso sí los tiene, ok. Ricardo, ¿es that what you have? Yep, ok. Carmen, ¿es that what you have? ¿Es that what you have, Carmen? Commands. Ok, my commands. Okay. No, do you, have, do you have the commands that your boss is going to tell you? Yes, the six commands. Ok, very good. And you, Alexis? Yes. Okay. What about you, Celia? Did you finish? Mm. Yes, Tisha. Very well. Gabriela? Me falta una, Tisha. Okay. Pedrina? Yes, Tisha. Okay, Emerson, you have it, right? Luis, did you finish? Okay. Now we're going. I'm going to put you in the small groups right now, groups of three or two, All right? So we can share what we have. Okay. Let me see. Give me one moment, I'm checking the groups. Finished it. Okay, very good. We are going to share this. You're going to be there only three minutes and then you're coming back. Okay, you're coming back to me. Let's go. You are going to share your examples. Y de luego vamos a ver si tienen todos ejemplos similares. We're going to see if you have similar examples. Okay, let's go. Three minutes only. Three minutes. Let's go. Select your group. 
Angie. <laughs> select, select, select. Masalia. Jennifer, select your groups. Luis. Luis is, is, is going home, Asalia. So work with Maria. Okay. Okay. Hello. Cinco. What? Cinco. No, solo van a compartir las que ustedes tienen. Usted comparte la suya, solo las lee con la sal y ya sale la de ella. Ok. ¿Mm? Entonces voy a iniciar. Ok. Eh, lo que me puede decir mañana es: Mary, make me some tea. Eh, serve my lunch, please. Attend the meeting, please. Bring my water. Go to Fasani to get your document. Okay. Will you teach reports this day? Finish your document, please. I finish sending the emails. Um, I receive report. Yo no la terminé, solo tres hice. Okay. Porque le había entendido mal, teacher. Había hecho otras, otras, o sea, pero no del trabajo. Entonces las estaba terminando. Uh -huh. Ok, termina, tiene 10 segundos. Okay. <risa> Sí, es que las hice de, o, de otra forma, no del trabajo. Ok. Do it, do it, do it, do it. ¿Usted las tiene, María? Déjeme escucharlas hoy. No, la, no las escuchó, Ticha. Uh -uh. Ok. Vale. Eh, make this comfy. Eh, serve my, serve my, me my lunch, please. Serve my lunch, okay? Serve my lunch. Uh, attend the meeting. Uh, read my word. Mm -hmm. Go to Fasani to deliver documents. Go okay. to cash. Go to cash check. Go to the cashier. Deliver documents. Okay. Así lo vamos a hacer más simples. Deliver documents. Go to the cashier. Or go to the bank or go to the ATM, el cajero automático, right? That's what we're going to say. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good night, Jennifer. Hello. Hi. Hi, Celia. Eh, hola, Carmen. Abigail. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yo tengo prepare meeting room every when. Preparar sala de reuniones una vez por Ajá, una vez a la semana. Okay. Okay, Celia. Can you please Send share, it. Celia? Share your your examples with everyone. What do you think your boss is going to tell you? Lo digo de nuevo. Yes. 
prepares meeting room every week. Mm -hmm. Remove every week. Quítale lo de every week. Prepare the meeting room. Hasta ahí, ok. Mm -hmm. yeah. Send the sales report. Send the sales report, ok. Sales. Vamos a enviar reporte de ventas. No sé, Carmen, quién más estaba, si tienen algo otra. Pedrina, ¿tendrá alguna? No, pero ahorita dígame las suyas. Ah, ok, perdón. Um, tour on the computer when arrived at work. Ok. Tour on the computer. Uh, turn on the computer, ok. Tour on the turn computer. on uh -huh. the computer. Mm -hmm. with me? Turn on the computer. Turn on the computer. Turn on the computer. Very good. Very good. Now, Pedrina, tell me other, other uh, commands that your boss is going to tell you. Bueno, este, a mí casi siempre me dan órdenes y me las dan así, ¿verdad? Por lo menos hay una que frecuentemente me la dicen. Yo la tengo así. Go to the bank. O sea, Go to the bank. Sí, y hay otra que me dicen chequear report. Ok, en WhatsApp. What's that in English? Check reports. Check report. Go to the bank, check reports. What's another one, Pedrina? Hmm? What's another phrase? Another command. ¿Solo esos dos tienen? No, 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 también tengo otra. Este... Me dicen a veces, go es a seven no money, 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 ¿cómo es? Buenos días, money. que venga en la mañana, no, que llegue a las 7 de la mañana, pero no la pude armar bien okay. la pregunta, la, la come, oración. Come early in the morning. Go, ah, go come, go, come, con, 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 ah, con, con, come early in the morning. Early in the early morning. Early in the morning. In the morning, okay. Gracias. Look at the chat. Come early in the morning. Good morning in the morning. Listen. Come. Come. Early. Early. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Okay, good. Thank you. Pedrina, choose another classmate. Escoja alguien más, Pedrina. Ángela. Eh, Angie. Angie, give me your commands. Check the cost in the system. In the system. The system. Okay, very good. What else? Ask for a stand. Ask or for a meeting. Ask for a sta statement. Ask for the statement. Okay. Ask for the statement. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? Otra? Si le tenía uh, seis. Okay. Oh. Solo me está diciendo dos. <laughs> Organize a meeting. Uh -huh. A meeting. Um, me a report at the in for the month okay. in the of the bond. Okay. What else? Um, um, un momento, please, teacher. Call and the statement. Home and the statement. Uh -huh. What do you want to say in Spanish? A uh, llamar a un proveedor, por ejemplo. Um, o oh, call the provider. Okay, call. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, solamente teacher. Okay, very good, Angie. Right, write in your notebook. Call the provider. Angie, choose another person. 
Um, Asalia. Asalia, ok. Hi, yo, yo quería, yo quería. Hi, Angie. Ok, ok. Yo sabía que usted quería, ok. <laughs> um, fin, you don't make a document, please. Ok, again. Fin, you document, please. Find. Ah, yeah. Find. Find the document, please. Uh -huh. Go okay. ahead and continue. I finish sending the mail. I finish sending the mail. Puedo usar mail. I? Puedo usar I al inicio? No. Uh -huh. finish. finish. Finish sending the mail. Excellent the job. emails. Uh -huh. May, make the calls of the day. Very good. Uh -huh. Check emails and messaging sent. Okay, check emails WhatsApp. and send WhatsApp and messages. Set. Correct. Check the cells for the week. Will okay. will do the report this day. Check check the donation received in the month. Okay, check the donations received in the month. In the month. Okay. In the month. Okay. Remember always, Asalia, that the structure is ver, el verbo va al inicio, okay? Si va a poner please, está bien. Please, ver, and complement. Please, ver, complement. Ver, complement, please. Okay. Okay. So okay. in the WhatsApp messages, send WhatsApp messages. Send WhatsApp send. messages to the clients porque messages no es un verbo. El verbo es send. Okay. Okay. Send WhatsApp Thank messages you. to the clients, to the customers, to anybody. Okay. One more person for this. Thank you, Alexis. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, please save the customer. Please? Service uh, customer. Please attend the customer. Assist the customer. Attend. Assist the customer. Please assist or uh, assist. Assist the customer. Okay? Ese es asistir. Uh -huh. Asist sí, no, atender. Es, no, eso es atender. Atender, ah, ahí me confundí yo. Espera, espera. Ya le digo al otro. El, el otro es. Eh, please eh, check the customer visit. Please check the customer visit. Ok, very good. Ese sí está bien, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, hice otro también, pero dice que no sé cómo, cómo organizarlo. Say it. Es... Could they spare parts to care of the world? Ok. What do you want to say in Spanish? Es eh, que, por, que como que revisen las partes no, que se de van la a... dirección de la dirección... Exacto. ¿Qué es lo que quiere que haga? ¿Qué es lo que le va a pedir su jefe hacer? Me confundí. Por ejemplo, mi jefe mañana me va a decir, Silvia, haga, haga las clases. Silvia, suba los documentos a Drive. Silvia, ah, okay. prepare esto. ¿Qué le va a decir su jefe? Que revise las partes que voy a utilizar para el trabajo. Ok. Eso es lo que quise decir, pero no sé cómo lo mezclé aquí. ¿Cuál es el, el verbo que utilizamos para revisar? Check. Check. Very good. Check. Ok. The, Check. The part. The part. To car, to car of the world. ¿Qué es tu cars? Partes. Uh, the, check the parts. 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 To use. Car on the world. To use today. ¿Sabe que está en el trabajo? Check the parts to use today. Ah, ok, más corta. 
Yo le di mm -hmm. mucha vuelta. Thank Check you. the first series today. You're welcome. Carmen, you raise your hand. Yes. Um, do the February KPI. Mm -hmm. The second is do the interview with the bidders. The third one is send the service level agreement to providers. Mm -hmm. Do the slide to show the indicators. Okay, good. Do a monthly saving plan. Mm -hmm. And contact the financial area to get the new billing procedure. Mm -hmm. Procedures. Procedure. Okay, I would change to verse, Carmen. I would change mm -hmm. to verse. In the slides, it's like a PowerPoint, right? Yeah. Okay, make or create instead of do. Ah. Make Great. or create. And the next one, the same. What was the next one monthly. after the slide? Yeah, do a monthly saving plan. It's a make. Mm -hmm. Make a monthly, or yes. Make or create or prepare make. a monthly savings plan. Mm -hmm. More fancy words instead of do. Mm -hmm. Very well, very well. Now we're going to do another activity. We still have 13 minutes. So we're going to do another activity right now. Before we continue, do you have questions about the use of imperatives? Tienen preguntas acerca de los imperatives? No. No, okay. Let's continue then. Son las más fáciles que he visto. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Then we're going to work and we're going to read about Mr. Wilson. Okay, who's Mr. Wilson? We're going to read about him. This is on page 24 on your model book. It's on page 24 and it says that we're going to see some sentences that are incorrect, okay? Where can you see the incorrect sentences? If you open the book, right? I have your book here. This is the paragraph that we're going to practice right now. And there are some sentences here that some of them are incorrect, okay? So here next to the sentence, Let's suppose this is incorrect. Next to the sentence, you are going to write the correct information. And if it's correct, you only check, okay? Or you can put correct, All right? Si está correcta, ponen un chequecito. Si no está correcta, ponemos una crucita y le ponemos la, y escribimos la forma correcta de la oración. ¿Está claro? So we're going to do a correction test right now. I want you to look at the screen, right? Please pay attention to me. I am going to read the paragraph and then I am going to ask some of you to read sentence by sentence, okay? We start. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, now we're going to read sentence by sentence. Recuérdense, vamos a leer oración por oración. La oración empieza en la mayúscula y termina en el punto. Right? It starts here and finish here. So in the first line, I have three sentences, okay? So first sentence, please help me out, Angela. Angie, sentence number one. Uh, 
every day. No. I check this is the, the first sentence. Hello. Hello, my Akelea. Hello, my name is John Wilson. Very good. Hello, my name is John I'm... Wilson. Ahora léame la oración. Solo vamos a leer una oración para dar más espacio y practicar a los demás. La oración comienza en la mayúscula y termina en el punto. Okay? You start with okay. the first sentence. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in the um, office. That's, no, esa es una oración. Ángela, am... Ángela. Una oración comienza en la mayúscula y termina en el punto. Esta es Exactamente, una es el punto. Uh -huh. Hello, Hello, my name is John my Wilson. My name is John is Wilson. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Ahí Next termina. person. Next person, Celia. Second sentence. Uh -huh. I work in an office. Very good. María Concepción. Next sentence. I am um, a human resource manager. Every oh. I am a human resource manager. Okay, continue Alexis. Uh, every day I check email for the company. Very good, Pedrina. I always ask them to take. Me olvida cómo pronuncia ese. Answer the phone. Ah, uh, uh, I always ask them to phone and they. Talk to. To potential employer. Very good. Repeat with me, Pedrina. I always answer the phone and I talk always... to. I always answer the phone. I always answer the phone. Answer. Answer the phone. And talk to potential employees. And talk to potential employees. Very good. Continue, Ricardo. I attend meetings in the morning and no. Generally. Uh, Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not too often in the afternoon. Very good. Let's continue. In my company, we always have events. Okay. In my company, we always have events. Repeat, events. Events. Very good. Abidail, next sentence. Jennifer Abidail. Jennifer, are you there? I think she's not there. Okay, let's take her a spot. Leida Susena, are you there? Tampoco. Ana Gabriela, continue. We have to attend conference on July 21. 21st. 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. On July 22nd. Very good. And the last one, please. This is so difficult, Carmen. The last one. I am always busy. I am always busy. Yes, relatable. Okay, I am always busy. Si todos los días están ocupados, pueden utilizar esa frase. I am always busy. I am always busy. Very good. We have then the different sentences that we have in the, in the composition, okay? Now, if we read this, we go ahead and read this. 
we are going to also check on our on our book here on the book what does it say here on the book his name is john wilkins is this correct angie his name is john wilkins is this no no okay what is the answer no uh, he's um john wilson okay so very good what's the answer here we're going to do his name is john wilson john wilson very good his name is john wilson that is the correct answer and that's what you're going to do with the others number two Celia, he says he writes reports every day. Is that true or false? It's false. It's false. Okay, what is the answer, Celia? Every day I check emails. Okay, so he doesn't check reports? So he checks emails he checks emails every day okay very good we have the answer and that's what you're going to do with the others van a ver si son respuestas correctas o incorrectas and we're going to put next to it if it's incorrect the correct form okay now we know that his name is john wilson not wilkins he writes reports every day. Mm -mm. He checks emails every day, right? Now, we're going to stop here. We're going to continue with that exercise tomorrow. I am going to ask for attendance right now before you go, right? Vamos a ver la asistencia. Por favor, encienden sus cámaras. Abigail, Ricardo, too. And let's call the attendance. Very quick. Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayoa. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Juarez. Present. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Car Carmen Lisset Hernandez Escobar. Present. Silvia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Aviles. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez, José Alfonso Palma Mejía, Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jové. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. Present. Roxana Janira Mengibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. And Jennifer Abidai Lopez Escoto. Okay. Now, we're going to stop here. According to the calendar that we have, we have some Everyone is going to leave, but ¿Quién es el que se queda? I don't no. know. You, okay, very good. So everyone, you can disconnect and I'm going to stay with him in case he has any questions, okay? Let's start. Have a beautiful, have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Mañana seguimos con este mi ejercicio, ¿ok? Bye. Nos vemos bye. mañana. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Ay, disculpe, teacher, que me cuesta como algo de este sonante para hasta la frontera de la echadura por el trabajo. ¿Hasta la echadura va ahorita? Sí, sí, ahorita aquí estoy, ya acabo de llegar. Ouch. Ah, entonces, estoy de turno, me toca el turno de 10 a 6. Hijo, uy, ahí me deja pasar siempre a COVID. Vaya. Qué galambe.
pidiendo cosas indebidas. Ok, good. Ok, teacher. But have a beautiful Bye. night, Luis. Bye. Take care. Ok, Ricardo. Hola. Do you have questions, Ricardo? Any comments, anything that you need to practice? Sí, eh, una cosa, voy manejando, pero por eso llevo la, la cámara apagada. Pero okay. fíjese, teacher, de que a mí me generaba como un poco de confusión en la clase que nosotros tuvimos el curso pasado de in, on, cuando se refiere, digamos, a tiempo o cuando se refiere a, a situación, o sea, a lugar, perdón, digamos. In, on, at. Correcto. Es, uh -huh. eh, in the morning, porque me estoy refiriendo a la mañana. A la mañana. Pero es, correcto. ¿Cuándo ocupo el on en el tiempo? On en el tiempo lo vamos a ocupar, por ejemplo, para los días de la semana. On Monday, on Saturday, oh, on okay. Wednesday, on, on December. On this, podemos decir también solamente okay. para el mes. ¿Verdad que lo podemos utilizar? Sí, lo vamos a utilizar para el tiempo. Y aquí hay una que está a acabar. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando vamos a utilizar on, on May 7, on my birthday, on the weekend. Okay. Cuando está dando como eh, días de la semana o fechas específicas. When, when are you going to celebrate your birthday? I am going to celebrate my birthday on April 2nd. Ok. Uh -huh. Y ahí lo voy a utilizar. On, por ejemplo, cuando está hablando de calles. On the street. On the avenue. Okay. On the corner. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y si digamos. Es on my birthday. My birthday. On ¿verdad? my birthday, porque, yes. Porque estamos hablando de, este, una, de fecha. una fecha específica. Mm -hmm. On my birthday. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y si, digamos, y si es en espacio. Si es en espacio como el place. Correcto. Sería, por ejemplo, on the street. Cuando estamos okay. ocupando para direcciones, on the street o on the corner. Ok. Eh, si es que también está hablando, por ejemplo, en espacio, the laptop is on my desk. When something is on the top of, cuando está arriba de. Ok. Entonces también puedo utilizarlo on. Uh -huh. eh, y si estoy refiriéndome a, a un lugar específico, pero que... Digamos, yo digo in my, sería in my house, no es on my house, porque estoy diciendo mm -hmm. adentro de mi casa, ¿verdad? Exactly. en teoría. Exactly. So when you say in, exactly because you are inside the place, right? Where are you? I am in my house. You can, if you say I am on my house, it means that you are on the roof outside. Ah, está okay. fuera. Mm -hmm. Usted está fuera de la casa. Está en el techo, on the roof. If you see, um, on. Mm -hmm. okay. Podría ser on the, on, on the table, right? On the first floor. Where are you? I'm on the first floor. Por ejemplo, pero ella se está refiriendo que está, aunque esté adentro, va a decir on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Porque tiene dos pisos, digamos. Exactly. Exactly, and you need to mention in which of them you are. Where are okay. you right now? Oh, where are you going to be next week? I am going to be on the radio, for example. Pero ese ya no sería como de lugar, sino que son como frases que se utilizan para, para decir que vamos a estar en algún lugar, pero es algo más como del, del medio, on the TV, on the radio, on the internet, on a mm. website. Sí, okay. esas, esas preposiciones, aunque son, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Bien chiquitas, right? Sí. They are very difficult to remember. 
Eso porque cada una tiene, puede tener una función distinta. Sí. Cada una es que de eso, ellas. Es que eso es lo que me genera a veces confusión. ¿Cuál es la que voy a utilizar dependiendo del contexto de lo que yo vaya a decir? Uh -huh. Pero ahorita aprendas las más básicas. In, on, at. Que sea okay. in, int para el lugar. Use uh -huh. in adentro. Uh -huh. At puede ser, por ejemplo, dice, I am at the restaurant. Si usted le dice, I am at the restaurant, la persona se va a imaginar que usted no está dentro del restaurante, sino que está esperando afuera. En la ah, fachada. Okay. Uh -huh. En la fachada. Uh -huh. I am at the park. Está ahí en el parque, cerca del parque, pero no está in the park. No ha entrado aún. Entonces está esperando uh -huh. a la otra persona para entrar. Así se va a imaginar una persona americana que usted le está diciendo. Oh, I'm in the park. Ah, ya entró. I'm in the supermarket. Ah, ya entró. I'm at the supermarket. Está por el supermercado. Entonces, está en la fachada prácticamente. La persona lo va a buscar afuera. Nunca se le va a imaginar que usted ha entrado. Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. Esa sería como la pequeñita diferencia de la locación. Ok. De ahí, creo que lo demás lo voy aprendiendo. Eh, eh, lo del do, si el das, si, si lo... Si lo ya lo, lo maneja. Uh -huh. Sí. Este, y lo del verbo to be, lo único que yo tuve un problema en, este, en un ejercicio. Lastimosamente ahorita no me acuerdo bien cómo es el ejercicio. Pero uh -huh. versaba y me daba una opción que yo no... Que con el verbo das... Pero decía como, digamos, I'm, I'm, María, go to, go to place, algo así, no me acuerdo cómo, cómo decía. La cuestión es que él me daba tres opciones de das. Entonces, uh -huh. la, dos, la primera que yo marqué que decía, I das, eh, no me la tomaba porque era I Tú, I don't, algo así, no, no estoy muy claro, pero sí me... ¿Y esa me era de la semana pasada? Sí, correcto, de la primera, de los primeros ejercicios. Mm, déjeme Entonces ver. No, no sabía por qué me daba error. Vamos a ver por qué le da error. Con el TAS, déjame ver acá rapidito. Vamos a ver, no sé, tiene TAS. Tarea 2, I take a shower every day now. No le dejo much, pero ni how many. No. Ok, yo creo que es la tarea 4. I am going to share my computer, ok? Veamos. Ok. This one? Mario, like working on Saturday. Correcto, correcto, correcto. Es eso. Mm, veamos, veamos. The first one will be Mario doesn't like working on Saturdays. He doesn't like. Está hablando de he. De yeah. he, exactly. Correcto. My friends, oops, my friends eat lunch together. Vaya, ahí es my friend don't. O don't, es does. It... Don't. My friends okay. don't, así debe, debe ser. My friends, porque está en plural. Okay. Vamos a ver aquí. Julio en Pedro. By, Julio. Ahí es. Julio en Pedro don't write. Don't write. don't write. Aquí sería don't write, porque aquí cuando lo que pasa es que no vamos a, a tratarlos como individuos eh, por aparte, sino que como sí. tenemos la conjunción. We have the conjunction and, entonces okay. esto, esta conjunción en nos sirve para unir cosas, simil, cosas o situaciones similares. Entonces en este caso nos está uniendo a Julio y a Pedro como personas y ya vamos a decirlo que no va a ser he, va a ser they. They ah, okay. don't write reports. Ya lo va a tomar okay. como uno solo. Okay. Y es, y el verbo está en plural porque reports... Porque yo lo puse, eh, puse rights reports, porque reports está en plural. Entonces, uh -huh. por eso elegí la primera opción que salía ahí. Por ah, pero es que reports no sería el verbo. Aquí reports está actuando como un sustantivo. El verbo es write. Don't write. Okay. 
y que lo, por ejemplo, pues, Julio y Pedro don't write letters. Julio y Pedro don't write notebooks. Julio y Pedro don't mm. write books. Entonces, reports sería el noun y el verbo sería, o la conjugación verbal sería don't write. Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. And then let's see, my sister. By my sister. Eh, not has. Not has, ok. ¿Cuál es el, el auxiliar que utilizamos? Porque queremos do. hacer un negativo, exacto. El negativo es que utilizamos do. Ok, y lo vamos pero, a utilizar. ¿Ya? Pero, ¿y por qué voy a utilizar doesn't have si estoy hablando de my sister? Estoy hablando de mí. Mm -hmm. O sea. Because my sister is she, is her. Es um, otra persona. Es suya, recuérdese. Es su, uh -huh. pero acá el determinante. My está diciendo que es suya, que le pertenece a usted. My sí. sister. Pero en realidad, my sister, cuando decimos my sister, is we're referring to a she. Not, okay. to, not, to, a, not to you. Estamos es hablando sí. siempre entonces de una tercera persona. De una tercera persona, exacto. Okay. ok. So we put my sister doesn't have a car. Doesn't okay. have. And the last one. My father and I here don't, uh -huh, don't my father and I don't play. Don't play soccer. Y cuál sería? Sería they, she, he, cuál creo que sería? My father and I. We. We. Very good. Se supone que todos nos tienen que salir bien. Yo le doy submit y tenemos 20 de 20. Uh, ok. Hoy sí. Mm. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. So that would be the, the, the exercise. Pero si nos tenemos que fijar en eso, en el end, nos tenemos que fijar en los determinants. Por ejemplo, my friends. Usted aquí me dijo sí. que era they. No me dijo que era, su, que era usted. Aunque tenía uh -huh. mal. Entonces aplica uh -huh. lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Ok, Ricardo. Okay. Any other acuerdo. question? Solamente, teacher. Gracias. Okay, it's a pleasure then, Ricardo. Have a beautiful night. Igual, feliz noche. Bye. Have a beautiful Hasta night. Luego.